The Auditor's General's Office Activity Report has been initiated to keep the public informed on the duties of the office and give findings every year. Speaking at the occasion, Kanjeke said, over the past three years, only Erongo Regional and Arwa Village Councils managed to acquire unqualified audits, meaning the two entities conformed to the generally accepted accounting principles in the category of acquiral based audit. The issue of delayed or non-submission of financial reports with regards to acquiral based audits, especially at village council level, has been identified as a factor that is hampering the audit process. Kanjeke said although improvement in this regard is noted, it remains a stumbling block to the office operations if not addressed. Some of the qualifications are based on simple things like non-submission of documents, just a method of submitting. It's not fair to the public that this year you submit those documents. Next year you have not submitted them, but the documents are there. With regards to the cash-based audits, which includes offices, ministries and agencies, a 40% improvement of clean reports has been recorded. Among such offices include the Auditors General, Electoral Commission of Namibia, Minister of Finance, Gender, Environment, International Relations, Mines, Safety, the National Assembly and the Office of the Prime Minister. The Auditor General reminded officers to always account for any unclear reports as that will smoothen the auditing process. But if you violate your laws inside the office, it's the duty of a management to punish those people. The National Assembly and the Minister of Trade also recorded unqualified opinions for the period under review. However, the last year had emphasis on matter. Salomatenga, NBC News, Finduk.